What's up everybody? Welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. Today I want to talk about a few recent announcements related to instant film from Leica and Fujifilm. Now many of you may have already heard these announcements, but I just wanted to give us an opportunity here on the channel to discuss them because I think it's really an exciting time for instant film now in 2016. So about a week ago, Leica announced that they're releasing an instant film camera. And this is pretty surprising for me. I see Leica as sort of this high-end boutique brand that caters to uh, people with a lot of money or willing to spend a lot of money on cameras. And so for them to come out with an instant film camera is pretty surprising for me. But I think this is sort of a indication that camera manufacturers and uh, film companies are seeing that instant film is really a popular market right now and a growing market, albeit kind of a niche. So the camera is called the Leica So4. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's S-O-F-O-R-T. And it's going to debut next month for a retail of around 300 US dollars, or not next month, November 2016. So I think this is really interesting. Uh, the camera is going to shoot the Instax mini film, which if you haven't seen before, it's about, uh, the photos are about the size of a credit card. Uh, I don't have an Instax Mini and I haven't shot with that, but I think it's really interesting that they're coming out with this and they're using a film stock that's already available. Now Leica will be selling uh, rebranded instant films so you can buy the Instax film in uh, Leica packaging probably for more money. Uh, but I think this is an interesting move on their part and something that will be interesting to see if it has any success in the market. I'm not particularly interested in it because of the high price tag for what it is, um, but I think that there are people out there that'll buy this camera, and it does look pretty cool. Now, uh, that brings me to my next point, which segues into Fuji's Instax Mini, is that Fuji recently announced that they're going to be releasing a black and white version of their Instax Mini film. Now, many of you know that Instax film, both in the mini format and wide format, only comes in color. They hadn't had a black and white film previously, so uh, a lot of people were clamoring for this. I had mentioned previously that one of the reasons I shoot uh, so much Impossible Project film is because they do have a black and white version uh, that I was interested in using and that Fuji did not. So I think that this is interesting. Um, I'm hoping that they will release a black and white version of the Instax wide film some point in the future. And I think, depending on the sales, they might move in that direction. If they're already starting to produce a monochrome film, I see no reason why they wouldn't put it in their other formats. So this is very interesting. And that brings me to my final point, in that Fuji, just a few days ago, announced that they're going to be releasing a square format instant film camera sometime in the spring of 2017. Not 2016, 2017. So, I think this is also very interesting because this puts them in direct competition with uh, Impossible Project's instant film lineup. Let me grab a couple of sample images here, just a second. So just in terms of format size, this is an Impossible Project or uh, square image. It looks like the classic Polaroid and then this is the Instax wide. So it's a much wider frame. And Instax just didn't really have a photo that looked like the classic Polaroid. So again, one of the reasons I would shoot with the Impossible Project film is, one, I wanted to shoot with the old Polaroid cameras, and two, I just liked the classic look of the square photo uh, for instant photos. And now there's going to be an Instax version of this. Now, if this is competitively priced, if it's priced similarly to the Instax wide, uh, film and the cameras are relatively inexpensive. I'm probably gonna buy one and play around with it So very exciting times for instant film. I'm interested in hearing what you guys think um, So leave a comment down below. What do you think of the Leica camera? What do you think of the new Instax film and the Instax square camera and film that's coming out next year? Are you guys interested in these things really like to hear what you think so? I'm going to be doing a few new videos in the next couple of weeks. I'm working on a comparison film, uh, a comparison video of the two film stocks, Fuji Provia and Fuji Velvia, just to give you an idea of what those slide films look like. And I got a couple other things in the works. So keep an eye on the channel. Thank you all for subscribing and for supporting me over the, this year. And I'm just working on trying to put out um, higher quality content and more content for you guys. 
So we'll see you soon. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.